Okay, hopefully I'm going to be able to improve the sound a little bit. This particular camera seems awfully hot on the audio. And I do realize that uh, some people have been upset with it, but that's the best I can do with the equipment I have. But anyway, we, getting back to ramping up here, what I've done now is I just have a little 7 amp hour lead acid battery, which is grabbing an exciter. I have added two 12 lead boards, and you can see these are fully involved. That one's bent down so it doesn't blind the camera. Each one of the lead boards, and I don't want to get too close because I know I've messed up the audio with the sound from the exciter on a couple of videos, but I have two electrodes, stainless steel. Oh, let me remind you now, when you go to stainless steel, you're going to see both gases evolve. When we were using consumable metals, uh, you didn't see the oxygen. And what was happening there was there was a chemical reaction taking place, and that oxygen was being involved in the depletion or di dissolving of the other metal electrode. So now you will see both oxygen and hydrogen. You know, what I have here is two electrodes in each one of these units, two went in uh, 4148s, and it's just connected at the back, so we have a loop. Uh, the two electrodes in the water, the two diodes, opposite direction, with a short in the back, completing the loop. Off of the connector, I come off with an L3 up here to a 12 lead board. Back here, off of this set of electrodes, two diodes again, and again a short in the back to uh, uh, complete the circuit, and I come off of this side here with the L3 into this lead board. Now I have connected both lead boards together on the anode side with a clip lead. Now we can go ahead and I'm going to try to get down here so you can see the gas and I can give you an idea of what, what we're talking about now in gas. Each one of these configurations will give you, maybe we can do it this way better, each one of these configurations should give you approximately 11 to 12 milliliters of gas per hour. So with two of them, you know, we're getting 20 to 24. You can see the gas coming off of that electrode there. Uh, pretty hard to see that one with the light but it is coming off equally on both of them. I wish I could get in further without destroying the sound, but okay there. I think you can see that one if you can hear me. And you can see here the gas coming off of there. So anyway, in ramping up, you see what I've done is added another unit. Each unit consists of two electrodes, two diodes, and then it's powering a 12 lead board. And all of these boards are coming out of the water. And the L3 off of the exciter, of course, is still feeding just the aluminum tape around the outside of the beaker. So we're getting right here now about 20 milliliters of gas per hour with 12 uh, 12 LEDs here and 12 LEDs here for a total of 24 LEDs. Now when I come back with the next one, I won't be able to do it today, but anyway I wanted to at least update the series. When I come back with the next one, I'm going to show you how we can charge a 3 third capacitor and get an idea of the amount of energy that we can pull through one of these little units here because obviously the 12 lead boards aren't totally indicative of, of energy since we know that we can light those with uh, a high frequency voltage only, but a minimal current anyway. So okay, I just wanted to update it, let you know that if once you switch to totally stainless steel, uh, you, will not, you will see both gases being evolved. And also when you do this stainless, you see my water is nice and clear here. Uh, you will have to go through what I guess most of people call a conditioning effect, where uh, at first you have to get all the oil and things off of that stainless 
and your water will cloud up. But after about a couple of runs, you'll get to a point to where the stainless is clean enough and you'll be able to keep this nice clean water. And so anyway, that's how you uh, begin the ramp up. You do it unit by unit. And so uh, at this point in time, like I said, we're looking at about 20 milliliters per hour, which is not a whole lot of gas. I mean, <laughs> I admit that, but that's not the point here. We're, we're trying to demonstrate the principle, and we're going to move on from that point.